wherever you're at right now, if you can contribute to the Roth IRA, if you max it out each year until you retire, here's how much you could have saved up tax-free. I'll show you coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. All right, when the situation fits, and it fits for a lot of people, I love the Roth. Love the Roth IRA. Love the Roth 401k. Why? Because that money that you contribute into the Roth side of your retirement account, either your Roth IRA or the Roth side of your 401k, that money does not help you on your taxes today. And for many people, hopefully, you know, it's your situation. That's okay, because you're in a low tax situation or you got tax credits or whatever. And because of the mountain of debt or because of, you know, just the way things are, I'm expecting tax rates to be higher in the future. You can contribute to that Roth 401k, Roth IRA. That money will grow tax sheltered and you will draw, you will withdraw that growth out of that Roth IRA tax free when you retire. Fantastic, it's gotta fit your situation. I think one of the problems with a lot of financial personalities on the radio or on YouTube is they say universally, the Roth always fits, you should do the Roth, blah, blah, blah. No, you, you gotta look at your financial plan. Look at all six areas of your financial life to, to determine whether you should be contributing pre-tax or Roth. If it makes sense to Roth, then what if you contributed the maximum amount to your Roth IRA every year without fail? How much would you have saved up? If your goal was, well, I just wanna max that out every single year because I wanna avoid taxes in the future, how much would you have saved up? Well, the best example of this is say you are able to do this early on when you've you know, just started in your career. And let's just, for, the, for keeping the math early, easy, sorry, let's just say early means age 25. So you start contributing the maximum amount that you can into your Roth IRA at age 25, and you're gonna do it for 40 years. So from 25 to 55, no matter what happens, you have kids, you get in debt, you lose a job, you get a, a raise, you change houses, blah, 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 you max your Roth IRA every single year. Next thing I would say, just to keep it easy, Let's assume that today's contribution limits of $6,000 apply and they don't change them. I know they will, they do every few years, okay? I'm not even gonna go through the math and confuse you saying, well, but if the IRS increases contribution limits, blah, 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 no. Today's contribution limit, six grand, okay? Let's assume that's the contribution limit forever and that's the amount that you max out. Lastly, let's assume that your earnings on average are 8%. Now, historically, the market does more than that, but also historically, investors, because they tend to make the wrong decision at the wrong time, tend to do less than that. Let's just say you have a diversified portfolio. You follow our advice here on the Wise Money Show. You diversify. You've got a momentum strategy. You can get 8% a year on average, and you're off to the races. Over those 40 years, you would have contributed $240,000 in total if you're contributing six grand a year. If it's able to earn 8%, by the time you're age 65, you'd have over $1.5 million in your Roth IRA, tax-free. You would have contributed $240,000. You don't get a tax break when you contribute to the Roth IRA, but with all of that growth and compound growth, you then have 1.3 million, over 1.3 million of growth on that, that you'll be able to withdraw no tax at all. 1.5, over $1.5 million you'd have in your Roth IRA if you started saving right now. Now a couple what ifs. What if you're able to earn 10% on average? Fantastic, over 2.5 million is what you'd have. That's, that's awesome. So what if, what if you don't, like this is the thing, I want this to encourage you, not to disappoint you. And if you are saying, I don't have 40 years, I wish I'd have started doing this, you know, back when I had 40 years before retirement, I don't have the year, then start right now, okay? What if you only have 30 years, okay? What if you only have 30 years instead of uh, that account growing to 1.5 million? You're gonna be just shy of 700,000, but it's going to be a lot of growth and that growth because Roth IRA, tax-free, fantastic. Now let's add to it. Now let's say, hey, that's encouraging. I'm gonna do that because I really want to be able to save up in a way that I can have tax deferred growth and tax free withdrawals. Fine, great, do that for the Roth IRA. What if you also have a high deductible health plan that's HSA eligible? 
You say, yeah, HSA. I'm going to use that HSA as a complement for my retirement account, and I'm gonna fund that thing too, because why? Your HSA, when you contribute, pre-tax, fantastic. But it gr also grows tax shelter, just like the Roth and all of these tax shelters, but you can draw that money out to cover qualified medical expenses in retirement or to reimburse you for, for qualified medical expenses that you had when you had an HSA. You can draw that out tax-free in retirement. Fantastic, okay, so you, you take the challenge, say, not only am I gonna do the Roth, I'm gonna do the HSA as well. Right now, the individual contribution limit for 2022 to the HSA is 3,650 bucks. They increase this like clockwork, 50 bucks every single year, but I'm not even gonna go there. Let's just assume 3,650 is your contribution limit from here for the rest of your career. And now, lots of other assumptions. You don't get married, so there's no family contribution limit, no kids, blah, blah, blah. Also, uh, there is, um, a, this assumes that you're gonna have an HSA eligible plan every single year for the next 40 years and you can contribute. So lots of assumptions, but assume you can, okay? Because right now, if you're eligible, you can't prove that you won't, so assume that you can, okay? And not only on top of funding that Roth IRA, you're funding your HSA. How much would you have in your HSA after 40 years of contributions? So you would have contributed about 140 some thousand dollars over those 40 years into that HSA. It'd be worth over $950,000. Guys, that's fantastic that you could draw out. All of it would be tax-free because your contributions were pre-tax to begin with, right? So guys, think about these simple things. All right, I'm in a low tax bracket today, low tax situation, and maybe I'm young, whatever, because again, we're talking about starting and saving for 40 years, and I've got other things I want to do, and I, I've, I got to save up for a car, I want to save up for the house, I want to do certain things, have certain experiences, but the blocking and tackling in my financial life, I'll max my Roth every year. I'm just going to commit to doing it. Simple rule, I'll follow that. Okay, I'm gonna max my HSA every year and I won't touch it. I'll just you know, pay for expenses out of pocket when they come up. If you do that combined over 40 years, earning just an 8% rate of return on average, over 2.5, you'd have around $2.5 million tax free. Will that reach your retirement goals alone? I don't know, maybe, maybe it would, depends on your five factor financial situation. But I think if I told you if I told anyone, hey, in retirement, you can have $2.5 million tax-free, would you take it? Absolutely. All right, it's just gonna require a little bit of sacrifice every single year funding the right accounts without question. Guys, work this. You, with your certified financial planner, you should have a tax shelter strategy. And we all know the adage of you know starting early. So if this finds you in your 20s and you say, yeah, I think I can commit to that. Keep it simple. Great. I'll just do that Keep uh, and, and keep plugging away. Fantastic. If you're finding this where you say, I don't have 40 years yet. I don't even have 30 years yet. I've got 25. Fine. Start right now. Work with your certified financial planner. See which tax shelters you should be using. Okay, do that tax shelter strategy and then fund them every year like clockwork, whether it's rainy or whether it's sun shining. Okay, fund them and show up in retirement with a bunch of dollars tax sheltered, tax free that you can use for your financial future. Work with your CFP on that. If you, if you have other calculations for your specific situation or you need to determine, should I be using Roth or, 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 uh, or pre-tax, work with your CFP on that. If you don't have one, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with a K. Wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.